Okay, now, I, just, I don't know if Wemby will ever pass Luca offensively. I just think Luca offensively. That's true. Is incredible. That's true. Passing, oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I don't think if he manages, if he manages to Are do you that, sure? he'll be the great player. Yeah, ever. I'm I'm yeah. Up to Luca. I'm just saying. Like, well, you're not about though. to be better. You're not about to be Hakeem on defense. Yeah, I'm better than Luca on offense. Like that's the best. Okay, so let me let me so let me ask you this thing, Mars. What is it going to take? Like, I don't think Luca has to. I mean, I'm not Luca. I don't think Wimby has to be a double digit distributor in order for that to be because we're talking about guys' impact on offense. He's already a glass cleaner. He's already going to be an elite scorer. He already takes good shots, and he doesn't even know how to play yet at the pro level. So what happens when you put him in an offense and you put offensive players around him, when you put offensive players around him that's conducive to his skill set and actually teach him how to pass, how to teach him how to read defenses, where he's now a guy that's seven foot three, seven foot four, averaging seven, eight assists. How impactful is that? We got a guy that's now shooting the long ball at 38%, and he's shooting three or four of them a game. Why is that ridiculous to think that somebody with his kind of skill set couldn't do that? Especially no, when he starts to figure it I, out. I, I, I think he can, what, eight assists a game, 38% from three. Or, I think he that's can nuts. do that. I just don't think that's going to make him better than Luca on offense because Luca's one of the best offensive engines I think the game's ever seen already. So assuming Luca's progression, I mean, which we're seeing right now, Luca's um, – ability to generate threes has improved exponentially in terms of how productive he is on them. The post game has developed every single year of his career. And he's one of the best passers in the NBA. If he's not number one, he's number two. And if he's not number two, then I think you're probably trolling, but he's at worst number three. So, I mean, you got that. Then you got someone who can create a shot out of, like the amount of times I've seen Luca pass people open, like they're not open. But Luca's able to hold that help defender just long enough for them to get open, and then it fires it to him. Like it's the stuff like that where it's like that's more than an assist. Like if there was a stat for it, right. it's, it's like one point nine assists really. Like that's how valuable that assist was. Like so a like like a quarterback. So that, that like it's, it's stuff it. like that, ethical and I'm like yeah. assist, an ethical yeah. assist. Yeah, like, when be, when Luca's guy, offensive. Guy. Like in order for Wemby to be that great, he would have to be the most dominant interior force we've seen since like Shaq. Or like Giannis, while also being a Carl Anthony Towns level shooting big or Dirk Nowitzki level shooting big, and then he have was. to be a very good playmaker himself because like just being seven four, like the handle is just never. He's gonna be turnover prone when he puts the ball on the floor. That's just something I think you're gonna have to because, live with. Like he's gonna be someone game. who's gonna turn yeah. the ball over. There's no, there's no, there's not gonna be a situation where Wemby dribbles as much as he does and he's not gonna be relatively turnover prone. So you kind of just have to take that was right. that's part of Wemby. Like if you want a seven four guy dribbling, just by virtue of him being that tool, he's gonna turn the ball over. So you live with that, and then just hey, Mars, unless well, you believe he's gonna build though, strength, he's gonna struggle in terms of the physicality. Unless you think he's gonna get extremely Yanis strength. Which let me let me ask you this though, Mars. He's seven four with a crazy wingspan, right? So yes. let's say if the the ball handling, I, I don't think the ball handling will ever get there. But similar to how Shaq was and how dominant mm -hmm. he was down then, Victor can be. And I'm just playing devil's advocate. I do agree mm -hmm. with you where because Luka to me is one of the best offensive players this game has ever seen. You gotta understand when you're trying to compare Victor to that, you're bringing him up in names like Jokic and LeBron and Magic Johnson. Like that's the name of Luka of offensive player. <laughs> that uh luca is in right now so victor being in that realm is great is like it's kind of, kind of far-fetched for me but if you think about it him dominating on the interior being a 7-4 guy being able to if he he has great touch being able to just shoot over hook shots the post moves just being able to cash those in effectively and we adding the three-point shot and compounding that because similar to Shaq because you do think that Shaq is also one of the greatest offensive players despite mm -hmm. him not really having the ball handling and, and passing as everyone else in that tier but Victor does have that to capitalize on his physical uh attributes and his touch as well so in my head I'm like okay I, I can see what show's going with where if everything works right that could be a possibility because he can be a very dominant fourth force being seven four and being able to shoot literally over anybody in the league, and they cannot stop him at all. Well, Mars, you just mentioned it, Mars, when you just talked about Luca getting guys open. It's like a quarterback throwing a guy open. That's not a skill that you just have. You learn that. And Wimby is one of those guys who I'd like to think over time he understands the game, and I think that that's something that he can develop.
I don't think that that's something that's not ridiculous for him to develop, where he's throwing guys open. Malone was able to do that. I know you're not a big fan of Malone off the basketball court, but one of the things that I, <laughs> I one of the things I found out about Malone, Malone was really good at delaying and throwing guys open. For example, he'd get the ball on the left block or he'd get the ball on the right block. Stockton would cut through. In the process of Stockton cutting through, he'd let him keep going. The defense would die. Bam, hit him. Bam, hit him right, right on his hand, and he, he and he'd lay the ball up. That's throwing a guy open. That's not something that he had years before that. And that's something. And now you got Wimby, who's seven foot five, super freak athlete, who can see over the defense even more than anybody else, and can pass. I mean, I don't think that that's something that he can't develop. I, I every time I see Wimby, I'm thinking to myself, that's the future. Well, will it be yeah. will it be on the level of Luca? Chill. I, I I hope you're not saying that. I don't think it'll be on the level of Luca. What 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 I'm what I'm saying when I think about when I when I, what I'm saying when I say Luca, I'm saying it because a guy is as offensively as gifted as Luca, right? Because mm -hmm. a guy is off as offensively as gifted as Luca. If I'm playing similar to that level, I'm not. To, I'm I'm not saying that I'm 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 he, like it's this, but it's more like this. But then you add in the other stuff that I do, how defensively, how superior I am on the glass, how much I can score the basketball. Now we're starting to have this conversation where maybe he's passing him as opposed to if we're just going off Luca's ability to distribute, Luca's ability to find guys. Well, I'm not sure that he'll ever get to that in terms of production where he's averaging 9, 10, 11 assists. I don't think he'll ever get to that point. But if he's close to something like that and you want to add in the rim protector that he is, the dominant force he is on the block, I think it's going to be hard. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be really hard to keep mm -hmm. him out of that conversation. Mm -hmm.